welcome back to literature guide here is a new video for you on literary quotes or literary quotations this is my 10th video on literary quotes i have deliberately made this video for the students who have been taking competitive exams such as the net and set exams conducted by ugc this video contains information about the literary quotes of many great english writers and literary critics i have already made nine videos on literary quotes you can watch all these videos if you visit my channel i have recently produced many good videos for you i will try to give you the link of the playlist of all my useful videos for the net and set exams i would like to thank all my subscribers and non subscribers who have given strong support to this channel literature guide if my non subscribers they like my videos and the content produced by this channel do like and subscribe literature guide so that i can make many useful videos for you in future also i don't want to waste your time let's dive into the video and enjoy the video literary quotes Literature is the sum total of all stylistic devices employed in it, Viktor Shlavsky. All bad poetry flippantly springs from genuine feelings, Oscar Wilde. To assimilate or interpretate something is to bring it within the modes of order which culture makes available, and this is usually done by talking about it in a mode of discourse which a culture tales as natural, Jonathan Culler. Art makes us see, in a distanced way, the ideology from which it is born, in which it bathes, from which it detaches itself as art, and to which it alludes, Louis Altus Air. Art is the negative knowledge of the actual world, Theodore Adorno. Man is least himself when he talks in his own person. Give him a mask and he will tell you the truth, Oscar Wilde. Methods wear out, stimuli fail. New problems loom up and demand new techniques. Reality alters, to represent it the means of representation must alter too, Bertolt Brecht. A vastly talented and exceptionally versatile and wise writer, Iris Murdoch on J.B. Priestley. The technique of art is to make objects unfamiliar, to make form difficult, to increase the difficulty and length of perception because the process of perception is an aesthetic end in itself and must be prolonged. Art is a way of experiencing the artfulness of an object, the object is not important, Viktor Shlavsky. To the aesthetic temperament the vague is always repellent, Oscar Wilde. The yellow book was certainly novel, even striking, but except for the drawings and decorations by Aubrey Beardsley, which seen thus for the first time, not unnaturally affected most people as at once startling, repellent, and fascinating, it is hard to realize why it should have seemed so shocking, Richard Le Gallian. The future belongs to the dandy. It is the exquisites who are going to rule, Oscar Wilde. To fix the last fine shade, the quintessence of things, to fix it fleetingly, to be a disembodied voice, and yet the voice of a human soul, that is the ideal of decadence, Arthur Simmons. Consciousness itself can arise and become a viable fact only in the material embodiment of signs. Language, a socially constructed sign system, is itself a material reality, Valentin Voloshinov in Marxism and the philosophy of language. Find the expression for joy and you intensify its ecstasy, Oscar Wilde. A literary work is not an object which stands by itself and which offers the same face to each reader in each period. It is not a monument which reveals its timeless existence in a monologue, Hans Robert Jorce. Action is limited and relative. Unlimited and absolute is the vision of him who sits at ease and watches, Oscar Wilde. 
there neither exists nor can exist any work more thoroughly dignified, more supremely noble than this very poem, this poem per se, this poem which is a poem and nothing more, this poem written solely for the poem's sake, Edgar Allan Poe. Knowledge is made by people and not found, because, the object of observation appears changed by the act of observation, David Blyke. Criticism is always moving on and the critic is always developing, Oscar Wilde. All the laws of dynamics have been put together into one principle, called the principle of least action. This states that, in passing from one state to another, a body chooses a route involving less action than any slightly different route, a law of cosmic laziness, Bertrand Russell. It is evident that Hopkins resembled Keats more than any other English poet, W. J. Turner. Poetry does not tamper with the world, but moves it, William Carlos Williams. Criticism must break with its ideological prehistory and become a science, Terry Eagleton. Trade has tried to make men realize the brotherhood of humanity but it failed, Oscar Wilde. I scarcely understand you about reflected light, every true poet, I thought, must be original and originality a condition of poetic genius, so that each poet is like a species in nature and can never recur, Gerard Manley Hopkins to Coventry Patmore. Poor wounded wonderful fellow that he was, a tragic reproduction of all tragic poetry, like a symbol, or a scene. I hope bay leaves will be laid on his tomb and ruined myrtle too for he knew what love was, Oscar Wilde on Ernest Dowson. The age of chivalry is gone and that of sophisters, economists, and calculators, has succeeded, Edmund Burke. The color of the yellow book was an appropriate reflection of the yellow nineties, a decade in which Victorianism was giving way among the fashionable to Regency attitudes and French influences, for yellow was not only the decor of the notorious and dandified pre-Victorian Regency, but also of the allegedly wicked and decadent French novel, Stanley Weintraub. The thought may be obscure, but the word is lucid, or rather translucent, Thomas Stearns Eliot. On St. James Park, as lately improved by His Majesty sees the park as an Elysium whose beauty blots out the memories associated with the nearby House of Commons where all our ills were shaped, Edmund Waller. After a fashion it is no doubt a decadence, it has all the qualities that mark the end of great periods, the qualities that we find in the Greek, the Latin, decadence, an intense self-consciousness, a restless curiosity in research, an over-subtilizing refinement upon refinement, a spiritual and oral perversity, Arthur Simmons in the decadent movement in literature. When I wrote a poem called The Wasteland some of the more approving critics said that I had expressed the disillusionment of a generation, which is nonsense. I may have expressed for them their own illusion of being disillusioned, but that did not form part of my intention. Priestley was volcanic, fertile and never dull, Anthony Burgess. From the moment of its conception, the Yellow Book presents itself as having a close relationship with the culture of scandals, it is, in fact, one of the progenitors of this culture, Sabine Doran in the culture of yellow or the visual politics of late modernity. The artist is now simply a constructor and technician, a leader and foreman, Dmitriev. Nothing is now done directly, or by hand, all is by rule and calculated contrivance, Thomas Carlyle. The poet is the guardian of the mystery, Briar Sof. The writers are engineers of human soul, Joseph Stalin. Modern criticism has shown us that to speak of content as such is not to speak of art at all, but of experience, and that it is only when we speak of the achieved content, the form, the work of art as a work of art, that we speak as critics. The difference between content, or experience, and achieved content, or art, is technique, Mark Schurer in Technique as Discovery. If I were to write novels, I would learn how to write them from Tolstoy and Balzac, not from Joyce, Karl Radek. Artistic creation is changing and a transformation of reality in accordance with the peculiar laws of art, Leon Trotsky in Literature and Revolution. Yes, Soviet literature is tendentious, 
for in epochs of class struggle there is not and cannot be a literature which is not class literature, not tendentious, allegedly non-political, and Rijadonov. The philosophers have only interpreted the world in various ways, the point is to change it, Karl Marx. Work is the appointed calling of man on earth, the end for which his various faculties were given, the element in which his nature is ordained to develop itself, and in his progressive advance to heaven is to lie, Thomas Arnold. It is not the consciousness of men that determines their being, but, on the contrary, their social being that determines their consciousness, Karl Marx. How is the video? I hope you like the video. This is my 10th video on literary quotes, as I have already told you earlier. And if you make a playlist of all these important videos, they will definitely be useful for you for the competitive exams such as the NET and SET exams. Some of the videos on this particular channel, they are really useful and informative for the students who have been taking NET and SET exams conducted by UGC India. If you really like the videos produced by this channel, do like and subscribe Literature Guide so that I can produce many new and informative videos for you in future also. If you really want my opinion, I would like to suggest you that you just select your own videos on this channel and make a playlist of all those videos and just watch all those videos. Thanks for your support and your help and if you have any suggestions do comment in the comment box below i will try my level best to make useful and informative videos for you on this channel and i will meet you soon with a new and interesting topic on english literature meet you please subscribe literature guide